<laughs> Only a few more days left in 2017. Ronson Shimon of RGS Law and USD Law School is here with seven last minute tax tips before the 2018 tax reform starts. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So what about prepayment of tax obligations? So right now they've limited the state and local tax deduction for 2018. So if you have a quarterly estimate for your state taxes, uh, you should pay it now in 2017 so that you get the deduction for 2018 uh, before it's limited. Okay, so timing's a must here. How about charitable donations? Well, because they're raising the standard deduction next year, many people who would normally donate to charities who are itemizing might switch to a standard deduction. So you should talk to your tax advisor to see if next year, if you're not going to be itemizing um, and you're going to be taking the standard deduction, this would be the time to make any donations to a charity because you'd get the deduction this year versus losing it next year. Might this hurt charities going into 2018? I mean, they say it can, you know, but um, it, it, it's really, it's it's just it's it's a matter of what, what your threshold is you don't lose a charitable deduction so the charities are still going to benefit um, by the deduction the problem is for lower income earners who are going to raise the standard deduction who don't itemize they may be less likely to donate to charities mm -hmm. but anytime past that standard deduction if you own a home or if you're a decent earning individual those people will still itemize their deductions and most likely will probably still donate to charities what about deferring some of your income into 18 is this a good idea at this point? Yeah, because tax tax rates are going down. So right. if there's any money that's owed to you right now, if you don't need it right now, just whoever owes you money, just have them pay you next year. Yeah, if yeah. You, don't, you know, don't bill anybody, don't send out any of your monthly invoices. Just try to push anything you can into the next year if possible. That, that makes sense. Are some, certain companies, oh, and I'm thinking about small businesses, though, are they compelled, if they did a job for you in 17, are they compelled to get paid for it in 17? No. Or is it okay they can get paid in 18 for a job they did in 17? Yes, there's no... Uh, you don't have to get paid that time. You can send out a bill whenever you want, a year, six months later, two months later. So there's no obligation for you to get your money the year that you earned it. Okay, so deductions that will no longer be available in 2018 and should be utilized in 17. What are some examples of this? Well, the main one that I'd like to discuss is unreimbursed business expenses and tax preparation fees. So if you're going to pay your tax preparer now for next year's taxes, but the main one are unreimbursed business expenses. Uh, employers, uh, if you have a job and you have to spend money out of your pocket for your job, you're normally allowed to deduct those expenses. Next year, you're not going to be able to. So any expenses that you anticipate you're going to be spending for your job in the next year, buy them up now this year and use them all next year. Interesting. Mortgage interest. This has been such a huge write-off for homeowners for so long. What can homeowners do? Well, right now, what you could do is just in case, you know, in the future with your rates going down, pay an extra mortgage payment now this year uh, so that you could get the better deduction this year before taxes go down next year. Yeah, I mean, there was talk early on before this bill was actually crafted by both the House and Senate versions that they might do away with it altogether, but it looks like they kept it intact and you just don't get as much of a write-off? Yeah, they kept, the, they, they kept the deduction, but they limited it now to $750,000. It was going to be at five hundred. dollars The normal is a million, but now you could deduct up to $750,000 thousand uh, dollars of mortgage interest for your home. Okay, one of the popular things are the Roth IRAs, right? You pay the tax up front on this and then it grows tax free. What about the pre-tax IRA versus the post-tax Roth? Well, before, up until October 15th of the following year, if you switch, you could switch back, you could switch forward, um, you could change all the way up until October 15th. This time around, you'd have to make that decision now. So if you're planning on switching, um, you'd have to do it before the end of the year. And I think we touched on this one already, talking about small businesses, tax planning, talking about <laughs> getting billed for something and maybe deferring that into 18. Is that where you're going with it? Well, now, th this is a little bit different. Now, yeah. expenses. So now, since you're paying more taxes this year than next year, whatever you could spend for your business, spend now. So whatever you want to buy, stamps, um, equipment, computers, anything that you think you're going to need for your business next year, buy it now because you're paying that higher tax bracket. So push income next year and increase expenses this year. So just bite the bullet for what, five more days it sounds like? Exactly. Get to work. You got a few days and uh, you know, do some tax planning. Professor, good advice. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me.